my name is Kevin Gray from Dine. Uh, I'm tech integrator there. I'm going to talk for a few seconds about what we do and then a couple use cases about uh, how you can solve some problems using DNS um, servers. So, first of all, um, we are DNS experts, so to speak. Uh, at base, we translate names into numbers so we can find your individual in infrastructure associated with your name. Those are all of our great stats there, 17 global centers, billions upon billions of queries a day. Um, you're here to help Gavin test, do all these great fun things. Well, we're here because all our users are doing the same exact thing. We sit between the users and what they're doing. So it makes sense for us to be involved in day to day. And by the way, that should say Ops Camp. Obviously, it's from it a previous. Say Ops Camp. I yeah. Think. Okay. No, I'll update that. Recycling, always good. Uh, <laughs> All right, well, what we provide is the Dynac platform, which is uh, at core managed DNS. Um, it's for FinTech speak, it's a global anti-cast network, so you'll have 100% uptime. Um, that's pretty much it after all these lovely features. Uh, but again, what I want to talk about is what issues could be solved with the DNS solution here. Um, it's about for you that. Um, so, uh, first of all, geotargeting. In other words, if you're a small company has a bunch of cloud instances throughout the world, and you want people to be able to get to your site as fast as possible, it makes more sense to have them go to the closest one. Using the AnyCast network, that will happen just by signing up, uh, signing up your DNS. Uh, we have 17 global centers around the world. Um, if you're in Eastern Europe and you go to your website, and we will automatically send you to the Eastern Europe cloud um, site that you have set up. You're in you know, Western US, you'll automatically get routed to the Western US one. You don't have to worry about it just by putting your zones. It will build back you there automatically. Um, provides for a, a, a loose failover as well. If for one reason you can't get to the, the zone in Eastern Europe, will automatically be rerouted to the next closest uh, server available. So that's a nice little, uh, little feature that it has if you don't have hardcore load balance in your systems. Um, infrastructure in the cloud. If you have your brick and mortar servers, that you're building up and you decide you want to start outsourcing a little bit of that server power to the cloud, we can help you with that too. You don't want to put 100% of your traffic out in the cloud right away and say, oh, good luck, cross your fingers. We'll allow you to do traffic management and put just a portion of that traffic out there. So if you want to do 1% or 5% of that traffic coming to your site, see how the servers hold up. If they're acting as you expect them to act, you can increase it as you go, but it gives you that, that granularity that you can adjust like a slow with a slider back and forth. I want this much traffic going here and there. Um, scale and smart in the cloud. And this is basically speed. How fast can you deliver your website? What, what is the metric you uh, particularly use, whether it be queries per second, transactions per second? How fast can you get it out to the customer? Um, this is a use case from learning of. See on the left hand side, this was their original infrastructure, uh, their original DNS setup. They had this fight, so it was, yeah, it was all right, it worked for them. But as they started growing, it couldn't scale. All right, <coughs> that, that switch over is not adding any servers, not changing the infrastructure at all, simply switching their DNS management over to, to the Dynac platform. And it dropped the decreased speed immediately, allowed to smooth out the edges, and they were able to handle much more traffic without any dec decrease in performance. Um, another, another interesting use case for that is in the uh, ad media market, where they really care about running back, uh, large algorithms in the background to behavioral target. Um, you have a real, real fast uh, return on your website. You can run those more in-depth behavioral targeting and get the ads out to the users that they're more likely to click and go through when everyone's happy because they're making money. Kevin? And finally. One minute. <laughs> and finally, ease of automation, which is very pertinent to this particular camp. Um, we expose Dynasworks are a, a large API to allow you to do anything you want to do in a DNS system through our API, through REST or SOAP. Um, we, the, the camp we put on last night, um, where we worked with Opscode and Xenos to set up an end-to-end -end server goes down, bring it back up, and get it in your DNS zone uh, solutions. It's all through the API. Really cool thing where literally Xenos caught an error in the server, brought it down, Chef built it back up, used the APIs, put it back in the DNS uh, zone, and the site was back up and running before we had time to even finish our talks in between. So that's about all I have. Um, check us out online, and uh, thank you. Great. Thank you very much.